Hello, good evening, good afternoon, good day. It's actually mid-afternoon, 20 past one on Friday, the 4th of February, 2022. I am David, commonly known as David, David of the family Jeremita, also known as uh, Crazy Horse, as um, the governor, <laughs> as Brother D, um, many, many nicknames or um, nice names. Uh, I'll leave it at that, those that know me. Hello. Welcome. Nice to see you, to see you nice. Those that don't know me, um, I'm going to present a comprehensive summarisation into the realm of sovereign paralawfuls, what we do, equity and trust. Um, I've chosen this place to make the video um, so you can see some of the publications behind me. Um, those blue ones there, um, magistrates books and what magistrates use, those light blue ones where my finger is there. Moving across here, the civil procedural rules in green. Okay, the civil court practice are contained in there. And then going that way, we've got, um, what have we got there from memory? My memory serves me rightly. Oxford styles manu manuals and the styles language, syntax syntactic structures and so forth at the top here you've got some dictionaries um, that way sorry it's very hard because it's uh, that way there the dictionaries and then moving on to um, bibles different types of bibles king james bible jerusalem bibles and then coming back from here ish all the way to here is a man rudolf steiner we don't know who rudolf steiner is um, one of my favorite authors of all time next to Neville Goddard and um, and the end there, this one, that one there, volumes one and two of Isis unveiled by Helena Blavatsky. This one, Ralph Waldo Emerson, publications from the 1900s. So they're uh, obviously 122 years old and they're crumpling with age. Um, here on the third shelf, Come on, moving from there, the, this entire span there is uh, equity and trust publications, uh, which is partly, uh, mainly, and partly um, where I get uh, the knowledge of equity and trust, uh, which is what we're going to talk about at a planned seminar that I think a lady called Melissa is um, going to host, a brother called Phil has um, started to arrange this between myself as the uh, principal trustee um, and the founder and the founder and set law of splspro.com i'm going to screen share in a minute and give you some further details about who and where we are an introduction to our site and show you give you a little tour of our private foundation educational trust that we have um so we had um, titles rights property you need to learn or to be introduced into how to um, protect public property and make it into private property or even into assets. Um, we regard assets as anything that is an asset to you. Financial, you would be used to hearing it in a financial you know, um, arena, financial definitions. Um, we have um, assets of our family, um, our blood, our procreations, aka sons and daughters, our assets to us. Um, we go into it in many areas um, with regards to property, title rights to property, common law. We um, explain common law. We explain um, why this will work and how it all works. That's a little bit about who, what, why, where. You know, well, when um, I started this in 2015, I started this um, prior to 2015. I was at a um, um, legal arena. I was at law asking, defending my rights to my property, my sons and daughters, Brendan and Samuel, actually. So it's my sons, but fathers will know it, mums will know it, family will know it as sons and daughters, my procreations, my sons. And um, I uh, got into this because I got swindled after two years and £20,000. I've been a solicitor moving up to a barrister, going through them up into a, a Crown Court in Sheffield to end up getting a court writ 
saying that I'm allowed to see my sons, Brendan and Samuel. So then after that, there was some difficulty in me still seeing my sons getting access. The mum moved house, didn't inform me where she moved, took my sons to. She breached a court order. Therefore, I was unable to continue seeing my sons. Mother took the option out of my hands um, and decided, you know, I wasn't going to be able to find her and my sons. And when I told my solicitor, the answer from her was, oh, we need to go back to court, of which I thought, no, that nearly killed me the first time round. So title rights to property, first, most and foremost, will come in the form of title rights to flesh, blood, procreations, assets, sons and daughters. Um, next is um, houses, uh, things that have got intrinsic value, you know, rather than uh, biological value, flesh and blood, the uh, bricks and mortar that you will have uh, acquired and title deeds to property that's not I, uh, properties that are currently being paid via a mortgage you know we can talk about how to protect houses and um, put uh, insurance policies in place and put them in discretionary trusts so should anything happen to any of the mortgagees then um, policies that are held in trust with the set law trustee and beneficiary will then come into play and um, offspring assets, procreations and children will not be left out in the cold. Um, trust technology is old, it's ancient, it's, um, it's nothing new. It's been branded as new trust technology. You are entrusted in life privately, lawfully, many times. You have used trust. Trust is not a foreign concept to us. Um, these publications you see before you when they talk about, well, mainly these ones here, the civil procedural rules and the... Um, 1873-1875 adjudicature acts and the fusion of equity within common law practices of England and Wales is a foreign concept to us. Equity is known um, and termified known. The um, terminology is used within finance, financial areas, the equity within a mortgage, for instance. So equity, trust, trust entrusted. Um, whenever a trust is formed, equity is there to govern you know, uh, trust, it's not a choice, it's not an option. It happens every time, wherever there is a trust, a legal trust, then equity will be there, the principles of equity um, to help govern that. So if I may just take a moment. And show you, without bashing the microphone, the law of trusts. It's one of the pop popular publications of mine. That, <laughs> and the pages are really thin like a Bible pages. So that's several hundred pounds in itself. If you research and look for the law of trusts by those authors, um, we'll tell you about equity. One other go-to books would be an author, one renowned author, Alistair Hudson. This is uh, an old second edition. And then, Equity and Trusts, a ninth edition. Sorry about the glare. It's a glossy cover. Routledge, next to Sweet and Maxwell and Nexus Lexus. There are some popular publications I uh, enjoy. There you go. And again, in-depth, extensive. Information we have is not scraped from YouTube. It's not stolen from anybody. You will find within... The publications up there, um, the Bible, the Bibliotech, um, the KJV, the Apocrypha, um, the uh, other versions of bibli bibliotechs, heliocentric bibliotechs. You will find um, sovereignty mentioned, equity, equity demonstrated um, with um, a chapter of John where Jesus comes across, um, stumbles across, finds um, a group of men about to stone a lady for some reasons of which uh, her behaviour is deemed unacceptable by the common law of the land. Um, the men are entitled to stone this lady. And Jesus comes along and says, let the man with no sin cast a stone. I'm paraphrasing, let he without sin cast the first stone. And so there is a comparison with regards to the law, the law of the land, and then dealing with an equitable means, equitable nature. And um, he who comes to equity must come with clean hands as part of the doctrines there. So we'll teach you a little bit on this um, planned, at this planned seminar in Wilmerdon.
and I'll give you all of the source reference codes, um, titles, rights, you know, uh, examples as why and how this works on various levels, ecclesiastical church involvement, papacy, as we know it, the Romanus Pontifex, Romans, Bibles, um, trust, trust in the Bible, Genesis, one of the first trusts that I found, um, the father leaving the children in the garden, do what you want, when I come back, everything better be as it should be. And, um, oh, by the way, don't touch that tree and eat them apples. Um, there's a trust there exa example for you. Um, principles, codes, you know, what we found, um, the London Templars, inner city London Law Society of inner city London that ensconces itself in London town. It's a separate country to England. You know, it's a separate country in itself, separate jurisdiction. And uh, that was set up roughly 1066, 1067, and it's ensconced itself there ever since. Their legal law society is based upon the Bible. And I'll go through and teach you all of how we've uh, found and come to, to see that. So what I'm going to do is introduce you to where we live, who we are, what we do. And um, I started this, like I say, 2015, prior to 2015, early 2010-ish access children rights and in 2015 i am um, set up a group on facebook called cyber solicitors that then went to um sovereign solicitors that then changed to sovereign paralegals to sovereign power lawful so a good um seven years now going into the seventh year of doing this work researching and with a lot of help from others it's not just all my own work and um, a lot of admins friends good souls good men um, women and um, then obviously thought leaders as well and teachers and educators and publications and it's immense it really is so it's not just happened overnight and this will be given to you in small bite-sized chunks and to, to help us do that we have some domains of which i'm going to show you now where we live so i'm going to share the home page of the private foundation educational trust of which uh, I am the governor of and I founded. Radiators just um, twanged. So let's do that now. So we should be seeing all being well the screen where we are. So this is www.splspro.com. The homepage. If you, um, I will give you all the links along with this video when I send it to Phil, and then um, you will be able to click and not have to worry about typing and such things. Out. So there's an introduction into who we are and what we do. That's my private calling. I have a name. I'm sometimes go known to go by a name, a legal name. A name in Oxford linguistics is denoted as... Um, as a thing, an object, so it will be to be correct of uh, English, Roman English, it will then start with a capital letter. Um, lettering is very important, styles is very important, um, syntax is very important. So you'll see I've highlighted David hyphen J A E hyphen S O N N E hyphen Jeremita. So I'm commonly known and I have a Christian name of David. I have a middle calling and first calling david it's not a name because it doesn't conform to a name with david so it's actually a calling there the first let me highlight it so this bit will just be a calling it doesn't conform to the styles and legal parameters of a name i'm called david commonly known as david i have a middle calling which is there it was j a s o n but i have re um hashed out and re-edited it into J-A-E, as in Sunday. You'll see the ice cream Sunday is D-A-E, um, day, Judaism, um, day in itself, uh, J-A-E can make uh, J instead of J-A-Y, and then S-O-N-N-E. We have S-U-N, S-O-N, and S-O-N-N-E to choose from. So J-Son, J-Son. And then the family name is Jeremy to there. So uh, that's as much as I need to say. Gov, 
aka David Jarson, Jason, Jeremy to trademark and copyright, because that's my own calling. Um, it shouldn't be within the circle there. It should just be a C. I made a little error there because it's not registered. We need to correct that. Nothing's registered. We don't register anything. There's a reason for that. We'll get in later, become a supporter. Okay, we've got a nice introductory video there regarding um, certificate, birth certificate, government uh, jurisdictions, and we've got a video there containing um, a man, oh, I forget, now George Carling, and some, a, speech, a short speech from him, which is quite uh, interesting, and it's full of mature language, okay? And then we roll down to our homepage, news stories that we have, um, reports, we're all journalists in our own right to some extent now in this day and age, um, breaking out conscious and conscionable information of which we find is important for us to, to consider in the age of information. It seems that ignorance is indeed a choice. So, um, yeah, you explore that yourself, you know, and it's some of the things we find important to, to go around and re-echo. We have some merchandise for donations there and, we have a key, a key competence, a Master's Guild key competence. We have a lot of documents for you to look at and refer to and to reference, so you won't need to think about making notes, scribbling down and uh, remembering everything that I say verbatim, word for word. All right, so when you come to join our domain for the donation amount of £12 for the year, equates to 25 pence a week, 12 promises. Um, you know them as pounds. We know it as um, legal and lawful tender currency. And that's a list of what is included in the bundle pack. And then what I'm going to do now, hopefully, if um, this works, is go to the page where we have, this is a password protected page. And um, when I come down and talk about equity and trust, we will be uh, able to give you access to this page those that want to have the information if you're interested in having a trust and expressing a trust and protecting public property goods as they're known commercially publicly legally and um, change the title rights where you don't own anything but you may or may not want to benefit from the use of it or give it to somebody else to benefit from you may want to choose a position within that um, set law donor and um, assign a beneficiary to have that asset the trust property known as a res res and then assign trustees to that property to look after on your behalf so you exchange title rights on what is uh, now at present you as owner and ownership is, uh, is managed so we have quite a lot of information on this page regarding you know and what we do and how we're going to do it around in these lectures caveat and disclaimer all right we're not giving legal advice we're not i'm not allowed i'm not purporting to ever give legal advice all right so our disclaimer there this guide and workshop is not legal advice anyone that chooses to utilize these guides and workshops documents and notices have the sole responsibility to king stand inner stand and understand or stand underneath each and every word used in our guides, workshops, documents, and notices. SPLS Pro's guides, workshops, documents, and notices have been created, made for private educational and entertainment purposes only. They are in no way deemed to be interpreted as legal advice. In fact, all construction, presumption, or assumption of legal advice purported to be given by I, David, and or SPLS Pro com and or its trustees is hereby expressed as frivolous and is revoked and denied the intended outcome for any and all spls pros guides workshops documents and notices is always to give the desired result of education honor and safety we duly inform you of your rights of what they are that's all we're doing here man woo man will be successful or unsuccessful based on your mental state of consciousness and due to the levels of your commitment aptitude and faith seldom is willing seldom is winning and remaining in honor solely based on the contents of notices our notices and or documents and instruments you need to control thy fear remember not all wars are going to be won during the first battle choose wisely 
and I've written additional to that prior to starting this introductory guide and workshop, it is advisable for you to have downloaded our Sovereign Masters Guild Bronze Foundation Key Competence Bundle that I've just shown you from our literature library and resource vault and additionally download and read our Proclamation of Sovereignty Explained Parts 1 and 2. Be sure to locate and download the most relevant. I will see to that and make sure you get the first relevant versions we've published to date as we keep uh, as part of our ongoing continuous improvement, uh, making versions from one up to version whatever is, is at present, such as version five on one of those documents. If you have not yet obtained them, consider getting them at your earliest convenience. And I've written something when I say talk about spiritualism, spirituality, souls, conscionable behavior, sovereignty, titles, rights, honor, clean hands, doctrines. Um, unfortunately, as part of my journey, anyway, things are uh, related and they link. It's a circle and it links back around, which is why um, some of the people in our circle are attracted to us. They didn't necessarily come to us for reasons of legal requirements. It may have been different requirements. Um, mental you know well-being health um because of what we talk about and um, how we talk about it how we connect the dots the circles all roads lead back to rome in some instances but not all roads lead back to rome um, civilizations history um spiritualism in itself souls as i've said with my collection and readings and what the admins have brought in their own rights, what others bring that are attracted to us and what we talk about you know we don't constantly talk about legal and lawful parameters we talk about um, ourselves our private side existence and um, you know our mental health well-being and physical health and we talk about sciences energies um you know healing abilities um history as well is a fascinating area a lot of the ones that are in our private community are um, probably on the autistic spectrum um, previously labeled commercially legally as misfits that they would be on a spectrum of autism, Asperger's, ADHD, ones that question authority, ones that uh, feel instinctively, intuitively that something is wrong. And so, um, you know, we come to meet for various reasons and we need, uh, will have various uh, private requirements of one another, duties and obligations to help one another. And you know, amongst uh, legal, finding lawful remedy to legal situations and protecting uh, the communities and our streets, and um, our extended communities, we're all one family, you know, one consciousness, one heart. We um, we we go out and um, we try our best, you know, to uh, to hope, to add hope, to uh, build up self esteem, to control the fear, and um, how we then view ourselves, um, knowing thyself, going back from Aristotle, Plato, Socrates, you know, forwards to, you know, modern day, and including those. Um, great works as i've said it's not all ours and it goes it goes a long way back and even through to the bible the present you know uh, uh carry canonized um, new testament holy testament but we've gone back as far as the first you know uh, four books five books four books of the bible that known as the torah and um hebraic phoenician texts looked at you know egyptians and greeks and even further Previous to that, so 6000 BC, Zoroastra, Zoroastrianism into antiquities, looked at antiquitech, you know, and uh, out of date artifacts, out of place artifacts, um, Baalbek, Baal in itself, um, you know, megalithic blocks, Lebanon. Um, it's just incredible, you know, to think that the earth is just 5000 years old and we are the most advanced civilization that walked the earth. It's just it's so arrogant to say the least. So, um, demons, devils, good, bad. It's uh, it comes into it, you know. Mandalorians, you know, man, man of law. Um, is, so I'll read what it says here. It's not your consciousness that determines your social being. It is your social being that determines your consciousness. Hope is the few, and fear is thy prison. They will not control us. We shall be victorious. And autism is a different way of thinking. A souverain, sovereign way, man of law, I am, Mandalorian. Um, I like Star Wars and I'm not uh, proud to admit that now, knowing what I know and uh, the media programming, but uh, Jedi orientation and the force is kind of relevant in some areas and we can have a play on words there. So 
man of law. We're lawful. We're not legal. Our persons are legal. The corporate city of London is legal. England and Wales is lawful and law is different. L-O-R-E, folk law, you know, uh, law, L-A-W, land, air, air and water, you know, and common law is on the land. Um, trust law is in the air and admiralty law would be on the water. So we have various jurisdictions and parameters of law and law in itself and definitions of law. When we speak of law, what law do I speak of? You know, so when you speak of law, when you look at law, and when the legal society talk of law, they're talking legal, statutory, it's not actual law. You've got UK, you've got public, civil law, rules and policies, and you can't use rules and policies to break law. So that's where we step in and help, uh, you know, segregate this confusion. So we all need to exercise our physical and mental health as we all hold both. We all have physical health issues and we all have mental health issues because we all have a brain and a body. The will of thy Godhead strengthen those that are good by taking one's life journey on a detour through evil. So there's a Godhead and um, the cosmic consciousness, universe, creator, Lord, Yahweh, whatever you want to view it as the will, the will of thy Godhead. And there's a Godhead inside you and it strengthens you or those that are good by taking one's life journey on a detour through evil. And I'll leave that for interpretation by yourselves. It is the one true original self-fulfilling prophecy. Then oneself can truly begin to develop thyself through thy own free will and deeds carried out. And speaking of prophecies and deeds, the Christ did not work through his teachings, but rather through his deeds and doings. And www.splspro.com, Christ, I am, Christian, Christian disclosure, you know, uh, is, is upon us. Churches and Templar temples are built for the suffering. To suffer in one dictionary and terminology, suffer is to allow and to endureth. OK, they are built for the for those among us who cannot be bothered to carry out the work above and what is set out below for themselves. Hence, the confounded suppositions contained within the test amend. So those that are in doubt of their abilities, I've put a little bit of incitement before you even get going on the uh, Jedi orientation into equity and trust. All right, there's lots to read there. I've given the private trust and equity telegram link. So we have a specialized um, private chat on telegram that is for this equity um, and trust learning experience and um, orientation. So you'd click that there. Oh, right there. Now you'd, um, that's for the podcast reading materials. All right. Um, I do believe if I scroll down, the telegram link is there. Okay. So. This is a few of the publications with regards to what um, I've used. I give you some podcast reading materials. If you click that button there, it will then there will PDF open and you've got a podcast reading materials by um, a professor, which is uh, 47 pages long. It's not too much to, uh, to get your head around, but it accompanies um, this topic here. You know, what is equity? What is a trust? certainty of intention, subject matter, and of objects, the beneficiary principle. I won't read it all out, but you've got the, uh, you've, you get the gist there. Okay, that's the titles, contents, and the titles of what is in this document. And then it goes through and helps you get that. So that's your podcasting materials. As I've shown you these books, physically, I have them. I, these are what I've used to educate myself within tr equity and trusts, the law of trusts. That's an American publication, Gill, but it's not so much Oxford English like this one and this one here. Um, and as I've said, we uh, highlight when we have our next Telegram chats, our last one was the 25th of the 1st, um, and it was in this here. So then if we click that, I open it in a new window. It's as simple as that, and it will then take you to and ask you how you want to get into the chat. All right, so... Put this bar down here. The aims of this guide workshop. So I understand some of you are wanting a trust, and we have a trust um, to give you. Um, it has a commercial value of two thousand five hundred pounds, but it would be given to you for a donation, considerably less, and that would be of five hundred pounds. We're not running a business. If we was, it would be running at a massive loss. 
I just heard some strum in the house on my own. I heard some strange noises as if like our lass was back. She may come back at any minute. If so, I will pause the video and um, we will come back after she's come home from work and gone past me. So yeah, if I was running a business and it was commercially active, then it would be running at a massive loss. So you are going to be given the chance to have um, a trust given to you expressed and show you how to express a trust. And then, um, you know, what all I'm doing here is giving you an insight into extra additional supplementary information of which is given to you for your consideration for you to then choose to um, research and uh, stand upon the information as I've read previously on this page. You know, um, you can take our word for it. And my word is my bond that you are also given the opportunity to go and research and look at where we've got our insight and knowledge from as well. So the equity and trust learning aims of this guide workshop are uh, the aims of the module is to ensure that students understand initiates or students understand and are able to assess critically the principles associated with equity and with trust law. The application of those principles to factual circumstances the manner in which these principles affect people in their everyday lives, how those principles are to be reconciled with the principles governing the creation of express trusts, the imposition of trust by law, how equity and trust law adopt, adapt to changing social conditions, and how other legal models challenge the traditional understanding of equity. The learning objectives of this module, knowledge, by the end of this module, a successful initiate student will be able to explain what a trust is and how it operates in England and Wales. In particular, the informal acquisition of an interest in property through resulting or constructive trust, the formal requirements for the establishment of a valid express trust, both inter vivos and on death, aka a last will and testament, the enforceability of trusts which have not been properly constituted, unconscionable uh, misconstrued relationships you can learn about um, you know the um, constructive resulting and implied trusts that are um, through the state statutory but we'll not get into that now the problems with purpose trusts and their enforceability charitable trusts including the operation of the cypress doctrine the nature of the fiduciary relationship and the protection of the beneficial interest powers and duties of the trustees and remedies for any breach of duty, the liability of third parties in respect of trust property, and analyse and explain how trust principles are being used to solve complex commercial problems, as well to minimise liability to tax and evaluate the trust, and in particular the office of trustee in modern society. So you can take this as far as you, uh, you deem fit. You don't have to. Um, exclusively and explicitly work through what I'm about to show you. You are given the opportunity to go as far as you would like, but the basics will be covered. And when you are given a trust by myself um, and you have donated for that, then you will have the chance and the opportunity to further look um, and uh, learn, should you wish, rather than taking words for it. Classic next door decides to do some diy oh, let's hope they're not going to be all day oh we're going to close this video down we're going to rush through this now could it make it up is there an option to pause the video Wait there. Resume the share right there. My Zoom is frozen. We'll carry on and hopefully it'll be quiet. Let's have a look at the course itself. What is equity? We've got some audio for you there. And um, the phone saying this is done test. All right. What is a trust? You click the audio and you'd listen to that. They're not um, very long, some of them. They're quite short. Alistair Hudson is telling you about this. The same author that I've just shown you in that one. 
in that one. And this is uh, Geraint Thomas and Alistair Hudson in the uh, third one that I showed you. I do have other publications by other scholars and academics. And his name would be Professor Michael of Keele University. So yeah, you'll see what there is here, introductory, and the nature of the trust, section two, certainty of intention, certainty of subject matter, certainty of objects, certainty of uh, objects and beneficiary principle, section four. So it goes through such as, you really only need to go through up to about section 10, 11, I think, um, to get what you will need to be um, strong and have a, an understanding, understanding, overstanding of, of that section 10, duties of trustees and breach of trust. The podcast reading materials and other materials that I've given to you and um, for you to reference in addition to all of this here. Yeah, that's about where you need to be then for those that want to continue on and advance through it. Not many do, but then there's other sections, 13, 14, 15, going through case law references in there as well. Section 20, 21, 25, we're getting to the end now. And then it says, now take a look at these pages, videos and documents within our trust and equity forum. So what I've given you here um, with regards to, let me just, we have, when I um, get back to the home page, we have bespoke tailor-made forums where you can then consider exploring and searching through them with regards to trust, equity, common law. So you've got common law versus equity forum, uh, equity case law, high courts of justice, chancery division and trust law. So if you click on that particular forum and that will take you through to relevant areas of which you can then choose to, you know, go into and look and revise and find. And then there's some recent posts that I've done. Um, also, if we just go back to forums, if you was to uh, want to look for something specific, you would then use the search page there, search box on the page to search the forums. And it would search all of these forums that we have. Uh, let's go from the top. What do we have? Community Spirits, Corona, COVID-19 Forum, Trust, Equity and Common Law, Civil Enforcement Officers, Bailiffs and Debt Collection Agents, Banking and Money. And they've got sub forums as well, like the other forum that I've just shown you. SPO's workshop and video forum, government Westminster legislation, secular codes person, and there's sub forums there, court, civil procedure rules, protocols, language, status, and capacity, the crowns, const UK constables and police, PCN, penalty charge and notifications, infractions. We've got an evidence of life, essence, and incarnation forum, which I can talk to you another time about that. And there is information about that on video on my YouTube account, Indiglo. You can find out and from the homepage link. That's just a welcome forum of all, to all new initiates of self and law to pop in and say hello. We have a general discussion forum, an international law forum. So we appreciate that we're internationally and part of the lost tribes, if you like. So what applies to us applies to all. We have a universal non-sectarian remedy where we declare the world's uh, resources our common heritage again. Um, we've taken that from Eastern traditions of um, Buddhism, Tibetan Buddhism, uh, Eastern um, civilizations and uh, laws, uh, you know, a true law, the doctrines uh, and canons of so International Law Forum, we have an American Law Forum, Civil Felony, felony Penal Code, Offence, Infraction, International News and Updates, uh, such things as Human Rights, uh, United Nations, uh, Strasbourg, Vienna and uh, other such courts, uh, International Criminal Courts, International Universal Declaration of Human Rights, Fundamental Unalienable Rights. We have a data forum, 1998 Data Protection Act and GDPR. 
Notice of intent, understanding and claim of life, right? That would go in hand in hand with our evidence of life essence incarnation forum. Here yeah, an updates and announcement forum. Get help by city, town, join up. So you can get help by your county, city or town. Just join up with one another. So it starts in the communities very much so. We've got a forum focusing on the papacy, the Romanus Pontifex, the lead and buller, a.k.a. church law, Vaticano, Vatican City, popes and antiquities. We've got uh, last will and testament, asset protection for private property. It's very important in itself. Um, Kevin, one of our admins, has um, found a remedy with Brother Graham about the Department for Work and Pensions, Employment Support Allowance, uh, Personal Independence Payment. So he's got um, Work Capability Assessment Forum there, what he's done. So he's done amazing work. They both have Kevin and Graham on that front. Etymological root references, etymology and phonics. I am a keen fan of that. It's one of my strong points. We have an escape room. It's just an escape room from all of the, all of the content, just to do things uh, totally different compared to legal and law. Um, a Swedish sovereign sovereign forum. So Brother Anders has brought some of the Swedish family across to look at um, expressing trust in England to help them in Sweden overcome their um, kingship and the regime there. I have my own forum, which is a bit random, but um, various updates periodically. Uh, SPLS, uh, SPL's Heal Thy Healthy Forum. As I say, we're not just here for legal and law. Look at a lot of different uh, areas that affect us on a day-to-day -day basis, in private capacity and as a community and tribe. It's just a forum for passwords, feedback, um, notices and things, any issues and that. I, I just re-post important information so you can open documents and some of our documents are locked and private and protected with passwords and there are issues sometimes so that's where we speak about them and just repost the passwords for them there sovereign park forum we're looking to get land and open up a, an area a respite um, recreational recreate area we're looking at doing that obtaining land and you know moving out into private uh, lands if, we, if that's an option we would like to consider at least New Supporter Questions and Information Forum, self-explanatory. Introductions, welcome and hello. Uh, education Workshop Feedback Forum, so that's um, to do uh, lawful educational documents and things that are in the resource library that I'll show you later. Our key competence documents, um, our workshops. Tax Forum, you know, to do with council tax, public, legal, law, illegal offences. Um, tax in general magna carta forum for discussion not endorsement of the charter or the carter the charters in the carter but um to do with you know our opinions on that uh, constitution um common law in itself explained and discussed and um, magna carta and um, such things related to we have a complimentary castle safety welcome pack free download there so that's very interesting and useful for you we give a lot of stuff away for free included with the 25 promises pence a week the 12 pounds annual donation for the year we do a lot um, as part of the um sacred contract that we have to one another you know we, we don't try to profit on, on on knowledge or anything like that we just try to exist and make things easy for one another and we have a clean hands doctrine of our own um, as part of our sacred contract to one another as many of us do we help for free um, and by doing and expressing good deeds and doing good deeds, you know, deeds aren't just based on paper. They're done by man and on what we choose to execute in our day to day, you know, activities. A bit of science here, gas in a nano solid state, GANS. I explored that and had some brilliant results with it. Science, nothing to do with what we're on about. Uh, social services, offspring, assets, children and the less abled, adult social care, children's social care, things like that. Work of Santos Bonacci. Um, as I've said, it's not all my work or the admin's work or a collective's work. It's the uh, thought leaders themselves, Jordan Maxwell, Santos Bonacci, um, the Glosser Channel, Romley Stewart, things like this as well. Um, podcasts, software streaming ideas, OBS, Open Broadcasting Software now, and we had a discussion about that in there. 
the birth certificate and the crediting. It's not just for England or Anglo, but creditors certificate forum, the birth certificate discussed um, and what that is, the surety behind that, the instrumentation, financial instruments themselves, bonded instruments, um, registration, you know, the queen, the monarchy, all that kind of uh, palaver in an admin open forum. So where was I? Pages, that one, trust. So click here, what was I on? Document that, so showing you the forums we have. And need, we're into our fourth year now, as of December, 2021. This hasn't happened overnight. It's been a, a labor of love for myself to bring this to this point here. And, you know, we got uh, buttons to click, hyperlinks that you can click, trust basics, you know, uh, trust equity and common law, click there, trust basics, secret and half secret trusts. We got there. We got a document there about secret and half secret trusts. I do believe it should uh, open. Things are working. I haven't been here for a while. There we go. And you can have a look and get the document yourself from us. Then we've got some videos, three of them that are hosted on my YouTube account, Indiglo, an introduction into trusts and equity for you to watch. So we've got some visual aids for you as well as audio aids and written aids and publications. We got some other interesting videos I thought relevant to, to, to share with you. And then information again, you heard me mention the Judicature Acts of 1873 and 1875. Um, I'm not going to read through all of this, but there's the history of what we go on about and why it's relevant and the sources, the highlights uh, are here, PDFs and sources for you to click, go through it slowly. Um, Ashburner's Principles of Equity, second edition, page 18. It's very precise and concise going through all of that. There's a lot of um, case law references all right, in here as well. It's very articulate. It's taken me a long time to put this together. And this is just for you to consider looking at for yourselves. We've got history of equity and the equitable propositions, maxims. And we've got more information regarding equity um, coming from Alistair Hudson and other such sources. If you to have a look at Charles Dickens is in there, I do believe at some point. Um, Robert. Maxwell, I just saw there, what's that, scandals, it's something, yeah, interesting. Ten essential propositions, maxims or precepts in commercial law, click there. Um, equity maxims, click there. <laughs> you were doing so well, wasn't we? Hey, excuse that. And we look at the first, as I say, the trusts. Richard Ansar was a teacher of mine back in the day when I first got into this triangle window, window of set law trustee and beneficiary. So we've got some temple tax references in Matthew. The Bible comes into it now. All right. I'm so sorry. It's hilarious in one respect and um, a little bit embarrassing in another. Real life, real life situations. Just a man grew up on a council estate. I don't pretend to be something I'm not. And I have a neighbor who's doing some DIY. <laughs> Less up. So then we go through tax evasion, tax avoidance. Look at the information we've got here. References from John, Bibles again, you know. We've been all over. Some more information there regarding what we do. Then we've got information on, inform on the ecclesiastical papal trust, the first proclaimed trust of the new world. So uh, let's move this microphone here a minute so you can see my boat race. All right, information on ecclesi ecclesiastical papacy, papal, papacy. All right, Vaticano again now, uh, Catholicism and um, information about the crown of Baal, the papal tiara. Expressed the first expressed trust done by um, the church, uh, the Roman pontiff, the first crown of the land, the second crown of the commonwealth, the third crown of the ecclesiastical see, the Seta KV trust or Sesta KV trust, 6, 1540, 1666, and 1707, starting with a man known as Pope um, Boniface. All right, so going through Roman law and Templar London International Barristers Association, uh, Templar London Law Society, 
um, Hague conventions and certain things, laws applicable to trusts, going through in detail the setter K and setter KV, um, pure atravi fidi commissionary trust or foreign sitters trust, secret trusts and kings, um, nature of wills, you know, trusts and wills. When a trust is formed, a will has to, man has to express their will to form a trust. So much information going through, referencing, you know, for you there. Um, information for Templar London Law Society. You get what I'm going through now. So we've really done our homework. This is a private page. It's not accessible um, through the public um, forums or pages of you click this button it takes you back to the top any of these tabs that you have to uh, donate to get into this page jedi orientation you know uh, equity and trust jedi orientation all right and then you will if you're having uh, interested at the seminar we're doing at wimbledon on the 5th of march then you'll be given access to this all right um, and that's the end so that's taking you through a tour of the information that's available giving you an idea of what we are, who we are, where we are, why we are. All right, um, we have courses. We've got video for like, if I just show you the library, we have a resource library um, that we click here, which is available to everybody. There's only a little bit of the, uh, the main website that is not accessible, that's kept um, private, but we have 434 documents here in our resource library for you to have a look at, um, free to download. There's no VIP areas or anything it's all accessible to all so some of our publications are in here most of our publications homegrown grassroots publications all right so we have a lot um, to offer and to give um, we can have a table view so you click that there and you will see it will then transform from that list into something a little bit more um, formatted easy on the eye tells you you know um, the name of the document the download name when it was created if it was modified the amount of downloads we've had and the size of the document itself there is a search box there for you to use all right so the courses section you just click simply the courses these are free as well and complimentary for you to consider or or not conditional acceptance workshop guide so you're free to review it's nearly finished. Uh, questions for a judge, banker, bench, robe, arbiter. Signing without assuming public liability and affording autographs. Uh, rights retained and reserved. NHS England, GDPR, non-consent, data sharing, selling, notice of instruction. SPLS Pro, Trust and Equity, Jedi Orientation, access pages. That's where I've just been, where I've just shown you. So you'd click that if you joined our private domain. And um, you were coming through and um, it gives you access and information here on um, on how to do that course. Stock and search officer trustee interaction scenario. So we get back out of that by this back arrow. And that will take you back to the content of the site. So it's very much in depth. It's an amalgamation of um, like a Facebook platform, a YouTube platform and uh, Reddits and things that I've been on before, you know, videos. We have a video library and a video resource vault. So if I click the library, this is what happens. You can see everything from my channel on um, IndieGlow. All right, so this is a direct feed from my IndieGlow channel. Every video I've ever done gets put onto here. So it's not all relevant. So per se to legal and lawful but it is um it is easy for you to get to my indiglo channel and a lot of it like i say is relevant but some <laughs> there's a car one there to do with hydrogen batteries uh engine code uh, autocom you know data stuff but interviews chats uh relevant current events but you go back to videos and you click read video resource vault and you'll find something different there again which is then video links to and playlists that I think are relevant for you to look at. So again, for your consideration, we have a merchandise store, donations for items and products, 
forums, news page, which is basically the front pages, home page, but the um, history of all the news that we've um, looked upon and I've reported. So it's not always on the front page. We only have nine spaces and then the ones that are older um, get put here. So this is the history of our front page, basically of all the stories we found relevant to share the testimony of the damaging effects of aluminium nanoparticles in vaccines. For instance, it's legal, it's lawful, it's relevant to us all, but uh, it's no longer on the home page. So they get put, put here for you to go through and have a look at. Um, amazing. And we've got pages at the bottom for you to check and click. Same as what we do with our forum pages. So activity i can't show you because it will have private activity of what's going off with our supporters now and like i say and then to back to our home pages so i hope that explains who and what why and when we are looking forward to this seminar on the 5th of march i want to say thank you and a big fist bump to brother phil and to a um, lady commonly known as melissa i believe for doing this i'm very excited to come down and present and provide and um, i think we shall leave it there for now I'm going to uh, look at wrapping up this video. I'm going to stop screen sharing now. Back to normal. So thank you. Bless up. Much love. See you soon.